Hey guys, it's Harley and today I'm going to be showing you a few pieces I've added to my furniture in my household so that I can store more plants. This is extremely important for those of us who want to have who want to be living in a forest with a ton of plants around. Um, one of the pieces is back here. I will show you some close-ups and then also a few other ways I've utilized space, wall space, and floor space and things like that to have more room for plants in my house. And then also the pl some plants I've moved outside now that it's warm outside um, and where I kind of keep them. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. I'll also link all the furniture pieces I talked about in the description box if you'd like to pick them up. Let's just get into it. Okay, you guys. So I got new plant so storage as I stated before. Here is the first one I got. I'm still putting some finishing touches on it. Like I haven't decorated the bottom two rows, how I'd like to decorate, how I've decorated the top two. Um, but this just works perfectly for indoor plant storage. Because for the most part, plants that are any bigger than the shelves here, you would probably want to put on the floor anyway and not in a shelf. But everything just honestly fits like so perfectly here. Yeah, I really love this. Um, I actually purchased this because a YouTuber named Nick, starts with a P something, um, had this in his houseplant tour and I asked him what it was. It's the... I don't know how to say it, but I'll put it on the screen right here so you can see what it is. You can go purchase it yourself. It was $79.99 and it also comes in black, but I got the white one. And I really like the way it fits in this room. Um, I just think it looks really nice. You can put some taller plants on the top and then just kind of go from there. I've started storing my rubber trees all together here in front of the window, just next to this um, unit. I like the way they look on the floor here. Oh, my dog kind of moved this one. <laughs> like that. I like the way they look on the floor here, just like evenly spaced in front of the window. Then I keep this little crow in. Cute outfit. <laughs> I keep this little crow in over here next to my mirror, just right in front of the window. It does need a lot of bright, direct sunlight indoors. So I have that one there to help increase the yellow sparkle. And then I have this. Ooh, I can't remember what this baby's called, but I just have this sitting in a tray with rocks so it'll be humid next to that same mirror in front of this west facing window. Um, then if you turn around here, I have the same plants up on my counter here, but I've just taken a few of them off and I have these two little shelf things with plants. There's a lot more space to grow to put more plants in here, but Definitely smaller ones to need to be in there, so only certain plants are going to fit. But I really like this black one because it rolls, so it would be good to put like cactuses and succulents in here so that you can roll it in front of the south facing window. Like I said, this is facing the west window, so they don't get direct sunlight all day long. Um, but you could definitely roll it around or move it. I also keep some like supplies and propagating bottles and things like that up here. So all of these ones on top are plants I've been propagating. Look at those beautiful roots on this bridal vine. There are so many, I should put it in dirt, but I'm just having so much fun watching them grow in this water. Um, here I have a, another plant getting roots, some polka dot plant that has a lot of roots as well. It's kind of hidden. Uh, just a whole bunch of propagating stuff. I have my ZZ on the floor here just to kind of keep it hidden from the sunlight because these guys do not like being overexposed to sun. So that's why he's here kind of behind both of the couches. I also have this little bookcase here where I like to keep plants on top of. I'm actually making a hanging planter for this guy so that'll be hung up somewhere in my house. I just haven't decided where yet. So for now he's just sitting here. Then I had my husband add this little shelf here on the wall, just above the bookshelf. I really like the way this looks and it adds a lot of extra storage where otherwise there wouldn't be any. Um, then over here, I moved a Maranta onto this because they don't like super direct sunlight. Otherwise their leaves will get too bright and lose their pattern. And I have a bunch of smaller propagating plants here. And you guys, really quick, this is off topic, but who knew that you could propagate oxalis in water? Because that oxalis cutting leaf has roots. Can you see them? That's so cool. 
I'm gonna let them get a little bit bigger and then go ahead and plant it in dirt and I'll let you know how it goes, but. So here's some more little plants. Chilling in front of the west window. So I also got this table from Ikea a couple of weeks ago. It's in front of a south window. Oh well, this rug needs to be straightened up. Um, I think this is a perfect hallway table or really anything, it's a good height. Um, I just have it under, under this picture over here and then under the thermostat. And I really like it because enough plants fit underneath. You could put some pretty good sized ones there. And then you can put smaller ones here or just empty, oh no. Or just really anything on that second row. And then the top one, there's like a lot of storage and it's nice because the top has this like lip. So the plants aren't going to like roll off or fall off or anything. So I just keep them on Stara and then some smaller plants here. And this has really changed the game for me. This was under $60. I think it was actually $49.99. But yeah, I really love this and I would, rec I would recommend it to anybody. I cannot find the name of this on Ikea though. So if you know what it is, please let me know. And once I find it, I will list it in the description. Okay, so here is that table there. Um, I also have this like gas fireplace here where I have another larger Monstera that I'm not sure where I want to put. And then also some Monstera babies I've been propagating. They're all doing pretty well. Um, I have a couple African violets here just because this is the sunniest part of my house. And a little arrowhead plant, there's the kitty. Um, yeah, I like it. I like them hanging here, hanging out in front of the window, get some extra light. Okay, and now that it is summer, I have moved a lot of my plants out onto the deck. So I just have my cactuses and succulents lined up on this bar here. Um, I have several hanging plants hanging on the edge there. I don't know if you can really see them. And then also right there. Um, and some of the larger ones that need direct sunlight, I have sitting here on the edge where it gets sunlight for most of the day. Um, I have two of my newest plants right here and they are getting um, bright indirect light all day. So yeah, this is a good spot. I have this shelving unit that I'm working on. So those are all of the new pieces I've added to my household to store more plants. My collection is growing very rapidly, so I need to find furniture pieces that will be able to hold a lot of plants. <laughs> I mean, the more they hold, the better. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section down below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.